Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be creating ourselves a mouse jiggler using the Raspberry Pi Pico. So let's get started. So the purpose of this device is actually to prevent your computer from going to sleep. And for those of you who are actually working from home where you actually got a computer from your job and you know you can't install special applications in there to automate that process. You, for any means, you actually can't install any software. And they also know if your computer is going to sleep. Now, funny thing is I have actually seen these products on Amazon right over here for like $20 just to do the same thing that you could do on a Raspberry Pi Pico, which is for $4.99. And that's what we're gonna be coding today. Just a simple mouse movement so that your mouse can move left and right and prevent your computer from going to sleep. Now, this is a brand new Pico that I just picked up from Pi Maroni along with a VGA board that I'm gonna be playing around with so we're gonna start from scratch and if you haven't seen my previous videos on setting up this computer with Tani and a lo lot of other code with me projects that I have I'll be sure to leave a playlist right over here so you can check that out but first thing we need to do is load this up with circuit Python you've seen this before the first thing you do when you plug it in is hold the boot select button and when you plug it in it will become a mass storage device this way you could load your new python coding in there now i'm going to pop over into uh, my firefox and hop over to circuit python uh, search for the pico board and i know this is a new version because the one that i was using on my previous video was 6.1 and this is 6.2 beta 2 so it is a newer version than what i was using which is always good probably has some bug fixes i really didn't look it up now you're going to get this uf2 file i'm just going to copy and paste it right into the raspberry pi board and let it reboot give it a couple of seconds there we have it it rebooted and now i should be able to reach it with my tawny tawny okay there we have it so now i have tawny open and i could actually see what's in here i don't have any libraries i just have the base code and everything so we're going to load it up with our adafruit hid module and the easier way to do this now is actually just go over to tools manage packages and look for adafruit HID and there you go Adafruit circuit Python HID I'm gonna hit install and we're gonna install that okay um, that is weird because it's giving me a hard time trying to download that so instead I'm gonna manually download it by downloading clicking on the home page over here which leads me to this code uh, I'm just gonna hit download zip save open up my folder and in here, I could go into download. I should have a zip file. I'm gonna extract here. And now I got my another file over here. And this is what I just need to copy. So I'm gonna copy this over to CircuitPython, lib, and paste it right into that folder. So now, once that's done transferring, if I go into, let me close this out, lib, I should have an Adafruit HID folder and there you go. My little thing that I need to download is already there. Okay, now we can get into the coding process. So what I ended up doing, uh, hopefully it wasn't too confusing, was manually installing the HID code right into the lib folder because when you plug in the CircuitPython, you, it actually mounts as a device and in there is the same as what you would see over here. So I just copied and pasted over there. So. Moving over to the code itself, this is going to be similar to what we were doing on our other tutorials on the mouse clicker, the mouse auto clicker. So first we're going to do import time and then we're going to do import USB, USB underscore HID, then import, oh, you know what, because we're only going to use mouse. So from Adafruit underscore HID mouse import capital mouse so the first letter is capital and then uh, we want to also um, hit the led on the board so we know when it's working and when it's not working so we're going to import board for the gp io pins and import digital io all right once you get all these imported and typed up next thing we need to do is actually code everything so mouse equals capital mouse usb hid devices now we set the variable of mouse to be a usb hid device and then now we could just use mouse to call up functions like mouse move and all that stuff next we need to set up the led so led equals digital io dot digital in out board dot gp 25 
capital GP25. Now GP25 is the LED pin on the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So we're gonna be using this. If you wanna use your own LEDs, you could just program it into a GPIO pin and just allocate it there. Now we're gonna do LED dot direction equals digital IO dot direction and hence the capitals that I'm doing here because that makes a difference dot output. So we're telling the, uh, this GPIO pin to be an output, so to provide voltage or to send voltage, you could say. Now we're gonna set the properties of the LED. So we're gonna do LED value equals false. So don't turn on the LED. We're also gonna set up a little thing called, uh, we're basically gonna put the board to sleep for a couple of seconds because when I did the auto clicker example, uh, you guys were, it was activating right away. So you guys weren't able to actually click stop or anything as soon as you plugged in the mouse device. So what I'm doing here is actually to prevent that, set up a timer. So I'm gonna do time.sleep and I'm gonna set it for five seconds. So basically we have five seconds to hit the stop button over here. So the code will not execute. And I think five seconds is more than enough time if I'm gonna code something back in there or fix something. Now we can actually do the code itself, which is while true, you know, the main loop. And in here, we're gonna set the mouse to move left and right. Now, knowing that we wanna turn on the LED first, make it go one direction, maybe sleep for a little bit, then go back the other direction. With that in mind, we're gonna do LED value equals true. So we're turning on the LED, so we know it's activated. Mouse move and X equals 100. So X means to move left and right. Y is up and down. So X move 100. And then once this is done, we're gonna do LED value equals false to turn off the LED and we're gonna do time sleep um, half a second. Now we only made it go one direction. We kind of wanted to go back and forth. So we're gonna actually do this, copy this code, paste it again, but instead we're gonna do negative 100. So it's gonna move 100 one way, then 100 back the other way sleep for five sec uh, half a second, you know, stuff like that, and then go back and forth, back and forth. And uh, this is basically it, the entire code. Now what I'm gonna do is um, save, and I'm gonna save it to CircuitPython device, go to code, hit okay, overwrite that, because that's the main code. When you plug it in, that's the main program it's gonna run first. And I'm gonna hit stop and hit play. So I'm gonna give it five seconds and my mouse Okay, there you go. You, you see it's jiggling right now? Moving left, moving right, moving left, moving right, moving left, moving right. So that's basically it. Wherever I move, you see the mouse just bouncing left and right, it's jiggling the mouse. And that is enough to prevent the computer from going to sleep. Now, if you wanted to modify it a little so it don't look as obvious, what you can do is, hang on, let me time it so I can hit the stop. There you go. You see that, how I timed it to get it to the stop button? What you can do is actually just make it a smaller movement. Oh man, it did it again because I stopped it. Now, if you're running into problems where you're not able to connect it again, like if you hit stop and it's still having issues, all you have to do is actually hit control C and control C will actually kill whatever code is happening. So you can actually go back into the fix stuff. Now, I never really had this problem except for this one time. So. Uh, yeah, that's good to mention that control C will actually stop the, or interrupt the current code. Now, since I'm going back in here and I'm modifying this, I could actually set this to be a little bit less obvious, which is setting it to 10 by 10. So I'm going to save the code again and stop and run. It's going to give me five seconds before it actually runs the code. And you're going to see how my little mouse is just moving left and right. So it looks like it's just shaking. So it's not as obvious. And you could actually code a button into it if you follow my previous tutorial for the macro keyboard stuff where you can actually enable or disable using a button itself. Anyway, that's it for me guys. I'm gonna actually upload this code onto my GitHub so you guys could just copy and paste it if you wanted to. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below or if you guys wanna see any other projects that you guys have off the top of your head, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.